What's up guys? Nick James here for another Bug Pros and Super Heroes vlog where as you can see I am driving right now to what I call the motherland. That's right, it's fucking New Jersey. I'm coming back for you to go to Red Bank where Jay and Silent Bob used to be at 35 Broad Street. Now they're at 65 Broad Street. I'm gonna be one of the first ones in there for their grand opening weekend. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog and kind of tape this whole thing and it works out well. I'll definitely have a little bit of driving footage for you though, so enjoy that now. Okay guys, what's up? Editor Nick is here to make sure that host Nick and videographer Nick don't take too much shit for this video because I'm not going to lie. I, I thought I did a better job shooting some stuff, but it is what it is. I still had a great time. So as we head right on in here to Red Bank, pay my toll, and this is Broad Street now. So right here on the right, boom, that's where it's supposed to be. But I missed the shot, all right? I'm sorry. So that's where the new shop is. And then as we come down just two blocks, this is where the old shop was. So I made a joke. Professional baseball players can play catch between the two locations. The new front door, look how beautiful. The new mat, even more beautiful. Shout out to Mike Zapsick. I stole this photo from him. And he was the one who apparently said, let's put some purple in that motherfucking rug. Now we're inside the shop itself. Inside the stash. Touch not, lest ye be touched. Brody Bruce, Iron Bob, all these Funko Pops are signed and everything. It was just a great time. Posters, and here's the money shot, guys. I thought I was going to do a full-scale tilt. I didn't. I got too distracted by this gorgeous ceiling. Fifteen bucks, little man. All the movies merchandise, all the comics made it. So this is the front of the store to the right of where I just was. Uh, you can see the Iron Bob in the back there. This is the left-hand side. Brody's, of course, still there. Hey, Nick Zapsick is there, standing again. And now this is the other side that I was trying to get. Again, videographer Nick was very, very, very nervous. He didn't know what to do. He was in the room with his idol, and he was just very scared. So this is the best I could do. If you want the full tour, go over to Kevin. Kevin Smith obviously has a much better one where Ernie O'Donnell, the guy who made all this stuff, tours him through. I'll put the link in the description. But this was my time, and I really had a fun time. I got some stills to help make shit a little bit easier for everybody to see. But I gotta say, it was just one of the best times of my entire life. Buddy Christ there, look at that. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful inside. I love the old store, but this new one's amazing. Look at that. I got to meet the man himself, and he was so fucking cool, guys. We did professional photos, but after everything was done, he just came out and started hanging out. Josh Roush in the back there. And that's right, too. I got to meet Mr. Muse. Now, I've met Kevin before. It's not like any less awesome meeting him, but it was cool finally getting to meet Muse. What's up, everybody? So now I'm finally coming home. A few more pit stops, but I just had to say right off the motherfucking bat, Kevin Smith is a goddamn gentleman. He is a true extraordinary person walked around as if like we were his best friends coming into his clubhouse he was just welcoming he was amazing kevin smith i fucking love you then i got to see my brother through all this covid shit it's been a while i got to see him i hooked myself up with a giant goddamn motherfucking iced coffee for the ride home and of course with some white castle Living my best life right now, people. Living my best fucking life. Thanks for checking out the vlog. Enjoy a little bit more of the ride home. And uh, thanks for hitting subscribe. Do all those things that you gotta do. Uh, I'll catch you at the next episode.